Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about one of my favourite topics which is sewing books. I'm not just an author of sewing books myself, including this one, Sewing Activewear, and my upcoming book about cover stitch machines. I'm also a big fan of learning through sewing books. So in today's video I will talk about six sewing books that I think are absolutely invaluable and especially they are so great for taking you to the next level. These are not beginner sewing books necessarily, but they are the perfect choice if you want to sort of really take your skills to that next level, which is the sort of sewing books that I like the most myself, but also has been a huge inspiration in my own sewing book making journey. So in today's video, let's talk about six game-changing sewing books. And the first book I am going to talk about is this one. It's called The Dressmaker's Handbook of Couture Sewing Techniques. It's by the author Linda Minard. And it's a book that I feel doesn't get the attention it deserves because this is an example of how you should do sewing books, in my humble opinion. First of all, as the name tells, it has a lot of sort of higher end techniques, but it's definitely not what I would say just traditional couture techniques. Instead, there's actually some knit sewing techniques in here as well. And what's so wonderful about this book is that it shows, as you can see, every step is so well illustrated and a lot of gorgeous finishing, which I am nuts for. You know, that, that special thing on the inside that we as home sewers can add to a garment and you won't always find in ready-to-wear garments, you know, such as lining and, and piping, French binding. Here's something that's called a couture waistband. And lots of really intricate detailing on how to sort of add a particular facing to a waistband that gives more stability with using a special technique. And as I said, there are also some really nice knit techniques as well. And also really good instructions on how to make the perfect dot. And we all know that can be quite tricky. So again, this book is a valuable resource. It has ring binding, which again is a fabulous thing. So if you definitely want to learn more of the finer techniques and also have a book that is super helpful, it's more uh, picture driven than text driven, which I really like myself. I find that I get a little bit confused sometimes if it's too much text. I definitely like a more visual approach myself and that's also how I do my sewing books so if you're similar in your learning style I definitely recommend this book of course links will be in the description section and perhaps it could be a wonderful holiday gift to yourself or perhaps you should put it on your wish list if you're not too late and you know I love sewing with knits and the bible I would say is this one it's called sewing with knits classic stylish garments from swimsuit to evening wear it's written by Connie Long. It has a few years on it. It's definitely, as you can see, well worn because this is a book I keep referring to over and over again. And there's no other sewing knit book on the market. Let me tell you, I all the other books, and I think I own most of them, give a rather simplified uh, approach to sewing with knits. And they don't really address all the particulars that comes with sewing with knits, especially if you venture outside, you know, the easy fabrics, I mean, it's one thing obviously to, to sew, say, a double knit fabric, because that's obviously quite stable, not very tricky. But when you start doing perhaps active wear, um, sewing swimsuit fabrics, you know, the sort of uh, drapey stretch knits, this is where you need a guide to really help you. Uh, my only um, thing that lacks a little bit is on information on the cover stitch machine because it's more focused on what you can do with a regular sewing machine and a serger. But apart from that, it is packed, 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 packed with information. Now, as I said, I do like my, my books to have more pictures, uh, and this one is definitely a bit more text-driven, uh, but it also has really good illustrations, both a mix of uh, technical illustrations and photographs, and you can learn so much. I mean, even in how to make your own trompe de oeil ribbing. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. And also lots of techniques on how you can do color blocking. If you're doing swimwear, I can also definitely recommend this book because it's very, very thorough. And another thing that I really like about this book is very specific instructions depending on your fabric. So for instance, if you're working with say swimsuit fabric, that might require a different type of stitching than say if you work with a sweater knit. And all these things, it has a wonderful chart that describes all the different uh, stitch options that are available and when we should use the different types. So one, once again, this is a book that you should definitely have in your library. I love, 
I would love if Connie would have updated a bit, as I said, perhaps written more about activewear and more about the cover stitch machine. But apart from that, this is the book on sewing with knits. Trust me. And speaking of sewing with knits, another thing that can be a bit intimidating is using a serger. I'm sure a lot of us was a bit scared of it in the beginning. And then perhaps when we start using it, we realize what a fantastic machine it is. But what was really eye-opening to me was getting this book. It's called Serger Secrets, High Fashion Techniques for Creating Great Looking Clothes. And it's from America's Top Serger Experts. And this book really opened my eye of the possibilities that you can have, that you have when you own a serger. It's definitely not just for, for sewing side seams on... Um, on knits it's it's mind-blowing all the things you can do and this book again is so so thorough everything you know you could possibly imagine it, it sort of describes now again just like the Connie Long book it, I would love to see an update of it because uh, some of the styling and uh, techniques perhaps feels a little bit um, untimely or the, the fashion for this particular techniques have passed so to speak so some of the ideas are a little bit oh uh, so I would love to see a more contemporary approach to that. But apart from from that little quibble, uh, this book is absolutely fantastic. And also it has, you know, instructions for working with different speciality threads, how to do lots of decorative effects, how to attach lace. And, and also for me, because I've not really done, um, I usually use my soda for sewing with knits. But this book really opened my eyes on how you can use a serger to create really fantastic effects and techniques on woven fabric. And it also has a, a little chapter on cover stitching as well. Again, not as thorough as the serger part, but it definitely talks about it and shows some techniques that you can do for you with the cover stitch machine as well. So if you don't have it already, I highly recommend that you check out the serger secrets. Again, links to all the books will be in the description section. Another secret book, just like the serger secret, is perhaps one of my all-time favorite sewing books. And this is called Sewing Secrets from the Fashion Industry, Proven Method to Help You Sew Like the Pros. Again, this is a joint venture between a lot of experts. And this book was like, totally opened my mind to a whole different world when it comes to sewing. So what this book covers is the techniques that is used in the professional garment industry. So a lot of chapters here are written by people who work in the garment industry, perhaps sample sewing and works for the industry. So what you will see in these books are techniques that looks nothing like the instructions that we see in regular home sewing books and in patterns instructions. So when I actually got this book, it was over 10 years ago, I had a little bit trouble uh, grasping all those. So I was, it took me a little while to win me over. Also, the pictures in this book um, are a little bit dark and unclear. So I would love if they had used um, a different approach, uh, perhaps a black background and things like that. But apart from that, once you get into the book and give it a chance, you'll be absolutely blown away of all the things that you can do that will actually both be faster and produce better results than a lot of the home sewing techniques that we are usually exposed to. So if you definitely want to step up your games and really learn how the pros do it, this is the book for you. Plus it's again super thorough. It doesn't do any shortcuts. One of my pet peeves about sewing books is when they just say, you know, stitch the pieces together and they don't really go into the specifics of using a particular technique or a particular material. This book is absolutely the opposite of that because it really goes in depth. Also, you know, just the pages on interfacing is worth the price alone and, and how to use seam allowance to the best advantage because uh, I'm a big fan of using different type of seam allowance depending on what type of garment you're making, what fabric you're using, what part of the garment, that what seam you're using. And all these things are so well explained here. So again, this book, if you give it a chance and perhaps uh, just like me, you know, give it t some time and really study and test the techniques. You'll be absolutely amazed of all the knowledge that this wonderful skilled sewing professionals have shared in this book. Again, I just wish they would do an update. This is like a dream. If I would have a dream book project, I would love to be a part of 
doing a sewing book like this where I can get experts sharing their sewing techniques. But that's that's a book project for another year. But again, wow, what a book. Now I'm going to talk about two other topics that pertain to sewing, which is pattern making and fitting your pattern. And the first book is, this is the Bible again, I would say, when it comes to pattern making for stretch knit fabric. As you know, I do a lot of my own pattern making, especially I do a lot of knit pattern cutting. And I would say that so far, before I bought this book, I was deeply disappointed with the lack of in-depth instructions for contemporary knit pattern making, especially when you want to work with stretch knits and you know the sort of fabrics that are a little bit trickier to understand how you need to adjust your pattern you know when you're working with negative ease and using different type of design details this book is not cheap it cost me <laughs> i think i bought it in sweden so it was actually cheaper here than it was on amazon but i think on amazon it's it's around about um is it 60 dollars i might be wrong i would definitely link to you can <laughs> see if you can find a better price but uh, what this book is, this is um, a textbook for education, so it's not really geared towards us home sewers, but I don't care because this is the book that I wish someone else had had written with us home sewing in mind, uh, because this book is absolutely fantastic. It ha goes through all the different things. One of the things that uh, I think a lot of us will understand once we start a uh, drafting pattern for knits is that we need to use different uh, techniques and different, um, how shall I put it, scaling depending on the stretch of your fabric. So for instance, if you're making a pair of leggings uh, using a very stretchy knit fabric, uh, and then you want to make another pair of legging, but that fabric has different stretch properties, then you will actually need to modify your pattern to get the same exact fit. And they go through all the steps that we need to know when it comes to that. And another really good thing about this book is it also shows some sewing techniques. So it's just not pattern making, it actually shows how to construct a lot of the trickier parts when you're making your own uh, patterns. So it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, so if you want to invest in yourself and want to learn more about pattern making for knits, this is the only book I can actually recommend. And the final book that I would recommend is my favourite book when it comes to fitting clothes. Now, obviously a lot of regular sewing books will have like one or two pages on fitting garments, but they are very, very basic and they don't really take into the account of the complexity of our bodies and also how if you adjust the thing on one part, you might actually throw something else off. So you need to have a very uh, methodical step-by-step -step approach. And what uh, Patty Palmer and Maud Alta do with this book, Fit for Repeatable, is that they actually break this process down. And since I started using the principles of this book, this again is a book I bought over 10 years ago, my, the way my clothes fit is just absolutely massively better than it was previous <laughs> this book so there is definitely something I, I can really notice how effective the method described in this book again also really good about this book is that it has all sorts of body types in the book uh, you know featuring uh, different models with different you know body constructions and the specifics that you one needs to alter from so it's definitely very I would say a very inclusive book in that sense as well because not just the illustrated the old people the young people uh, you know plus size uh, short people you know all the sort of body types that you could imagine and they don't really say oh you should do this if you're a plus size or whatever they just talk about body variations which I think is a, such a sound approach when it comes to fitting and they have actually updated this book so there's a new one which I have not bought yet but um, if you check the link in the description section, you can actually see an interview that I did with Patty Palmer about uh, the new version of this book. So these were six of my favorite sewing books that have taken my sewing to the next level. Now, I would love to know what are your favorite game-changing sewing books. Please share in the comment section. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for weekly sewing videos. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.